Hi everyone! Uh, this section we're going to talk about shoes, um, walking shoes particularly for urban city. So um, I'm just going to go through some of my fit from my favorites to some of my least favorites. Um, so in Taipei, in Asia, it rains a lot. So I don't usually wear Crocs, but I saw this on I think Macy's or Nordstrom's. And I was like, oh, okay, it doesn't look like those clogs. I mean, you cannot ever find me in clogs ever. I mean, finding me in flats is hard enough in LA. But um, I thought these were kind of cute. And I thought, mm, maybe I'll try it out. And actually, this is the second pair of my Crocs. The first pair, um, because Crocs only does full size, like I'm eight and a half. So the fair, first pair I got, it was actually one of those um, kind of like a ballet shoe but there were holes in there and I got I think I got a 9 now that was too loose and then I tried getting it the 8 that was too tight but then the funny thing is my roommate saw it and she actually thought she loved it so she went and got another pair so in LA like one of my roommate actually got the same shoes that I did but before I told her that make sure you're a full size good thing she was so if you're a half size like me make sure you get something like this so for me this because I'm in an eight and a half and I got this in eight it works for me but this does rub a little when it rains the funny thing is when it doesn't rain this doesn't rub at all this is like so comfortable to wear like it's it has a little bit arch support I don't know if you can tell like for me, I need arch support because I actually have a problematic feet. I don't have the arch. So sometimes I need to uh, find shoes that support that. And this is so comfortable. Like when you walk on it, it's like it squishes. It's like very rubbery. So it's shock resorb uh, absorbent. And then um, because it's kind of humid and moldy in Taiwan, you want to get something shoes that shoes that won't like stink or, you know, have bacteria you know growing and then this you know definitely works when it rains when it doesn't rain actually when it doesn't rain this is still like so comfortable I actually this is my favorite favorite shoes after I got it um I got this in LA before I came to Taiwan but I found out actually Crocs is everywhere in Taiwan too um so yeah definitely check it out actually a lot of people asked me about this shoe like where did i get it like they didn't could they couldn't tell it was crocs when i was wearing it because i think crocs has a really i want to say the brand does not seem very fashionable but this is kind of like the gladiator style and i just love it so check it out i don't know if they still sell it at macy's and nordstrom's but um i actually have a Oh, sometimes I get discount codes uh, from Macy's and discount, and I put it on my website under a section discount code. I'll show you a little bit at the end of this video, so you can go check it out. Um, you can try to flip for me. I saw some people try to flip for, uh, was flip for my um, discount section. It has a code there. Okay, so this is, uh, the second shoe I like is called Flex. I got this here. I don't know if you can get it in L.A., um, this is really comfortable and squishy like Crocs, but not as squishy as shock absorbent as Crocs because this, the material is leather and, um, I prefer this material. This material is just so much comfortable when you're walking on it for so long because in urban city like Taipei, I, I'm from LA so pe before I usually just walk from my garage to my kitchen. <laughs> That's the longest distance I usually walk. Um, but in Taipei, I walk so much. I learned from lesson before when I was uh, visiting New York for about two months. And then I visited Seoul in Korea. And I didn't bring the right shoe. And I almost died. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't walk anymore. I had to stay in. So this time I learned my lesson. And um, But this one I got here. Um, I just wanted something like nude and makes your feet look like longer and um, I, I like this. Um, I just felt like it wasn't as squishy as shop absorbing as this shoe so this is still my number one. But if I'm wearing a dress or like a summer dress um, and it's just kind of like the color is kind of hard to match, I would wear this shoe. I like it. Um, but it's just, it has a little bit smell. Well, after a while, if you don't clean it, it's going to have a little bit smell. But this shoe, you don't have to clean it. <laughs> I love this shoe. 
Um, the next shoe I got is also a gladiator shoe. This is so in fashion. Uh, I don't know if it's still going to be in fashion next year, but I hope it will. I got this in Taipei. It's called Dr. Kao. Um, they say it's a German brand, and I don't know if you guys read us uh, saw some of my other videos. I'm learning about Taiwan's fashion and beauty industry. When they're saying they're foreign, they're U.S. or German or uh, Japanese brand. Sometimes they're a local brand, and I have a feeling this is a local brand because right after I bought it, they before ha um, had this leather covering this um, zipper. It fell off. The tassel fell off. <laughs> And then I also, even though it's squishy, I do like how it's very, very squishy. I love the gladiator look. And it's a little bit taupe instead of... So this one is nude, and this one is taupe. I don't know if you can tell from the, um, from the camera, but I wanted... I really like this color for my purse and everything. I have so many purses in this color. But this problem, this shoe just didn't have, like, arch support. So later on, I actually got an arch support from Daiso. Um, you can get it from Dr. Show too. I recommend you guys get like a like an arch support. Um, this was like at Daiso. I don't know if you know this at like in Irvine um, in OC in LA around LA. There's a store, the Japanese store. It's like a do everything's a dollar fifty cents. Um, and here it, in Taipei, it's a uh, thirty nine NT. So. I got this, but usually I get Dr. Show, but I can't find Dr. Show over here. Um, so I, I'm gonna put that in here because every time I wear this more than an hour, I'm just exhausted. Um, so even though it's flat, I still need arch support. So this one wasn't very, I didn't really like it. And I think this was like a hundred US dollars. Um, I forgot to mention, um, this one was like, I think it was like 80 dollars, US dollars. Um, this was expensive too. This was like 120, I think, 120 or 110 US dollars. So, this was the one that it was funny thing is the cheapest but my favorite. <laughs> I love this. I just wish they made half size because this part really kind of rubs me a little bit. So I'm really definitely an eight half, eight and a half. I'm, I think I'm a perfect eight and a half. Um, so next shoe, I one of. Oh, this is like so functional. It's like now I'm total like a brand. Uh, I follow this brand now. It's called Merrill. Uh, I don't know if they have that brand. Oh, here in the back, Merrill. So I knew like I used to go to Costa Rica horseback riding, and like we're riding in the ocean, and like you get wet, and then then you're riding for three hours, and then you get dry again. So. I knew in Taipei it's like very humid and I did some like adventure touring and I did river tracing I think they call it. So basically you just kind of jump in the river and you start walking up the like the, the, the rocks in the river. So um, everybody, it was funny, like everybody else, like there was like 20 of us, everybody else brought like a sandal and um, not a sandal but one of the kind of like these shoes and then they brought like afterwards they brought they brought another sneaker for afterwards. I just brought this because you know why? These, this shoe is like waterproof, it's shock absorbent, it's like wicker free or, or, or like antibacteria. It's like multifunctional. And the thing is, you can't tell right now, but it's like very, it looks very good like urban, urban wise. Like if you, it, originally I saw it in orange. Um, I really wanted to buy the orange color. It was like, when I saw the picture, I was like, oh, it's so pretty. It's like an art piece. Um, but I got brown just to be more practical. And um, when I got this, I felt like this part was kind of weird because it's like elastic, so it doesn't really like bind you. But I got used to it. And then I was so happy that I brought this shoe because this shoe is actually two in one. Like instead of buying two pairs of shoes for $50, I just got this for like $100. And it's also very shock absorbent. So I, I really like this, except this part is a little bit wide for me. But this is still a good buy. I still love this. So now I actually follow Meryl. Meryl is also on, I think, Macy's and Nordstrom too. I'll put the link below. Um, so so right now, all the shoes I bought for, that I just mentioned were, uh, besides this one I got here, um, were... Oh, so these two shoes were definitely like, you know, waterproof, you won't, it won't go moldy. So I actually thought these two were like the best buy I got. The Crocs, so the Crocs, and the Merrill. 
So the marrow. Oh, oh, is it upside down? Whoops, marrow. <laughs> um, so these two, they're both leather, but I got them in Taipei. Um, I thought they were okay. Like I can wear them to work. So these two were like more like my work shoes. Um, the next shoe I also brought from uh, from LA, but they sell Skechers here. I was in paranoid mode. I bought like I think I, I don't know, 15 pairs or 20 pairs of shoes from LA. So this is called the Go Walk. Um, when I read the review, it was so, like everybody loved this. Like, and I want to say I actually like it too. I, I just wish like, cause this is like a cotton fabric, I just, this doesn't like really bind my feet. I really like it when this shoe kind of holds my feet a little bit. And, um, but it's still very, very comfortable. Like my mom brought like a, like she's, like she kind of started, started wearing like one of my ballet slippers and just walked downstairs and she's like, oh my god, after an hour she's like, oh, she's in so much pain. So this is like very, very light. And um, you definitely need a walking shoe if you come to urban city like Taiwan or Seoul, Taipei or Hong Kong. Don't think like you could just wear a normal flat because I really suffered. So um, this shoe is like super, super light in your luggage. Like you put it in your luggage, super light. The other ones I showed you were a little bit heavier, um, but they're like the this one. Um, this one, I think it would be a must-buy if you do any adventure trip or something. Um, and I just kind of wish this would like hold me a little bit because of the fabric. And I think you can wash this because this does definitely need to wash because it's not like for the price, I think this is like 40 or 50 US dollars. In Taiwan, uh, in Taipei, they don't go on sale ever. So they're all retail price. Um, but this, like, this is definitely not like, you know, uh, what do you call those uh, antibacterial because I can feel like after I wear a while like I need to wash this because it gets a little bit sticky so this is still a good buy I really like this but if you come to Asia I think if you go to Hong Kong Taipei, Taiwan you can probably find sketchers don't don't be worried it just won't be on discount um, yeah oh and I remember like before I came to like these urban cities when I was in LA where it you know, everybody just drove. I never wore flax. I always wear heels. So like the longest time I didn't know how to wear sneakers and flats. <laughs> so I actually started a Pinterest. So if you look at the link below, I have a Pinterest account and I'm just show you. Oops. So I have a catalog of, I don't know if you can see, oh, it might ruin it. There's a category called shoes thingy. I'm like, I think it's affecting the lighting. So the shoes thingy, uh, I actually took a picture. I just started pinning people who are just wearing like sneakers. And I mean, so if you have problem figuring out how to wear sneakers, uh, like me, because <laughs> I just wear heels before, um, follow me on Pinterest. And this shoe, I originally didn't want to buy this. <laughs> Because it was just so like, oh, you know, it just doesn't look like, you know, a fashionable shoe. But like, I read the review about how like everybody raved, uh, the, the review on when you buy the shoe is like everybody raved about it and said, this is like the best shoe ever. It's from Easy Spirit. I don't know if you can tell because it's kind of worn off. It's from Easy Spirit. And I want to say I'm so thankful that I bought this and I brought it here to take one. I didn't see Easy Spirit here. I think they probably have it in Taiwan, but here's why. Now, I so in Taiwan, you do everything in Taipei. You do everything with downstairs in 7-Eleven. Like you fax anything, you go to the 7-Eleven. You don't even need a printer because there's 7-Eleven. And then you pay your bills at 7-Eleven. You like everything you do. Basically, it all ties down to 7-Eleven. You can get things shipped to 7-Eleven. You're closest to 7-Eleven. So my 7-Eleven is even though it's downstairs, it's still like a quarter of a block. So like I go to 7-Eleven like maybe five times a day. So I walk like if you add it up, it actually adds up very quickly. Like in LA, you don't really walk anywhere. So like I wear ballet slippers. And then like here, like my like like I mentioned, my mom just goes downstairs and she's like, oh my gosh, she's exhausted, right? So she starts like you know stealing this shoe because this shoe like you just slip on, 
and it's kind of like a just a casual slip on shoes to grab something downstairs like if you go to you know, sometimes in the morning I don't feel like getting dressed up. I, I just wear this and I go downstairs to get breakfast. And this shoe, I want to say it's really light too. It's really, really light. And the difference between this and this, oh shoot, this one, is that this definitely has this hold on you, which I, I am looking for. And um, this, like, I don't know how, what, like, I'm really confused with sneakers, so I always buy white and gray, but... This is a little bit heavier than this, so it might be a little bit like, like here you want things really to be really light here, like thin in Taiwan in uh, in um, summertime because it gets really really hot. But it just like it really protects you because like in Taiwan like um, I don't know if you notice like when you get on if you're walking on the street and everything like the personal distance like people just don't give you a lot of like personal. You know, like they don't give you a lot of space, so you gotta protect your toes. Cause I got stepped on one time, and it was so painful. My my nail, oh, I don't want to mention, but it's just my nails came up. So, so you wanna protect your toes definitely. And um, this is such a good buy. It actually has like holes in here, so I think it's just for the air to come in. And I remember reading the technical. Uh, specs for this shoe and it was just like most of my shoes that I buy besides this one and these like you know for office shoes like most of these shoes have a lot of technical specs where you know it's uh, antibacterial, it's breathable, oh, shock absorbent that's the most important thing for me and then um, this was uh, the arch support is really good too and it's pretty light so I would recommend this easy spare definitely for everyone that either lives in this urban city or they're coming to Asia and they're going to walk a lot or they have a 7-Eleven downstairs and they're going to go there five times a day. <laughs> so check this out. And then um, also it's on Macy's and Nordstrom's.com and I think it was on Macy's and I get discount code once in a while and sometimes I get like 25% off. It's like a private offer for me um, and I will list it on the um, website but Recently, I didn't get any, so I think I got it. I got one like I don't know, like a month ago or something. I don't know if you guys saw it on my website, um, but on my YouTube, I don't necessarily link it all the time. So definitely go check out my um, uh, my uh, website, or you can follow me on Facebook. So I would usually put that out on my Facebook. So the Facebook uh, URL is facebook.com/slash/effortlessruth. So this shoe is not one of my favorite. It's like I love their a running shoe. This is A6. Um, their Tiger. Uh, their own own Oni Tsuka Tiger. Their sneaker brand. This A6. I I remember like the first A6 I got. I was, it was like the running shoe. I was like wa running on air, like on the cloud. I loved it so much that I decided to go check out their sneakers and if you saw one of my Pinterest um, picture I had there was one girl she was so hot she wore like black fur and a black jacket and black pants and then like a sneaker but I think she had like a wedge sneaker but I don't recommend wearing wedge sneaker here because uh, here in Taiwan in Taipei the floor is not necessarily flat all the way like the, all those vendors and stores would have their own uh, height of like ground floor. So there's a lot of steps in between st um, store and store. And I tripped one time wearing flats and it was so painful. Like I was actually bruised for about three weeks. So this one, um, this part rubbed me <laughs> the wrong way. Like it just like drove me nuts. Like. I don't know why this review was really, really, really good, and I didn't, I didn't see a lot of people mentioning about how this part rubbed them. So if you can tell, it's actually like you know curved inwards. So this one I didn't wear that I didn't wear that much, but like, but if you look at the picture on Pinterest, like that really inspires you to wear like black sneakers. Like I think I'm gonna go find another black sneaker, just not this brand. But A6, I, I want to say A6 is like I love A6. Um, their running shoes. Just I think this model doesn't fit me. So um, so this that's for all for today. Um, but if you can tell, like 
those are some of the things I will be talking next time, heels. And some of these products I've talked before and I'll be talking about some of them next time. So if, you're, uh, if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up and then also subscribe below. And then, um, oh, I also forgot to mention, I saw, I saw that like, Nordstrom is like starting to uh, sell Sarah Jessica Parker's heels. And I was like, ah, I gotta get it. <laughs> so Sarah Jessica Parker's heels are kind of like these like uh, dainty shoes. And I love these dainty shoes. So um, I'm going to put their link below. But check it out and then let me know how it is. And hopefully all these shoes are very helpful for you guys. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.